All right, well, I'm going to pick right up where I left off. Uh, this is part two of the creating your own website on Google. Now under site settings, I have general. This is where I have my site name, um, my site description, if there's mature content, uh, which there is not, uh, which one is the landing page or what, what's my home page. Um, if I want to use Google statistics, this is like, uh, you know, how many visitors are coming to the website, where are those vid visitors from, uh, different statistics like that if I want to do enable that. Uh, the verification tool so if you are if you are a webmaster and you want to do some more advanced features with google sites you need to enable this uh... don't really worry about that if you're new to google sites uh... what language you're using how, how can people access your website um, who can access revision history so who can see like all the changes that you've made um, generally I keep this to collaborators only and then um, some different if you ever wanted to delete the website um, or publish the site as a template like if you tweaked it and then you want to share this as a template you can do it here um, and copy it so that's all found under general this is the only place to delete the website right under here if you don't like your website and once you've deleted it everything is gone there's no more history or anything like that so only delete the site if you're sure that you want to get rid of everything not just a page but this deletes everything and like I said there is no way of recovering it so I click on sharing sharing allows me to just basically send out an email telling people that uh, you know this website does exist and come visit it you can also add people uh, that are allowed to work on the site um, you can use collaborators collaborators are allowed to add content to the site but they're not necessarily allowed to like delete the site or things like that monetize so if you wanted to add ads to your website um, you can stick those on here clicking on monetize this website uh, most teachers websites that I know though don't have any ads on them um, especially a lot of schools don't like you to have ads so I just clip this playing the web address so here's the web address for my website and click on this and I'll actually open it up that's the web address that I would want to give to all my students and email out and this this is the place that everybody can access the site from so this is the web address if you ever forget like uh, how do I access that site again um, just click on your site go to manage site and web address and it'll tell you the address right here um, then I go under site appearance so this is gonna give you some the ability to change the layout of the site what's in my sidebar um, where the content area is the header that's like the title bar or you know like your the title of your thing that's up here so you can edit how your website looks in here um, colors and fonts if you do if you want to change the way your website looks for instance um, if you don't necessarily like the font or don't necessarily like the link color you can come in here and change all that um, I tend to leave things as default especially uh, because I'm using a template they usually uh, pick some really nice colors and stuff that all match so um, there's no reason to edit this but if you do want to change it you can change it in here and if you didn't select a template um, this is definitely a great way to change your background change the different link colors so your website has a little bit more flair and then again themes is down here now I can't change the template that I selected but I can change uh, the background and the way uh, my websites created through this uh, themes themes is a great uh, way if you didn't choose a template if you just had a blank template to add a little bit of like a background image and uh, some like different fonts and preset colors and all that uh, so you don't have to go through the fonts and colors and choose all that Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do before I go back to my site is I'm going to go here to Site Layout. Now, if I did want to adjust the colors and fonts and themes, I would do that uh, right now, but I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so I'm going to keep those the same, and I'm going to go back to Site Layout right here. Uh, now, this, si uh, this sidebar right here, this is... Uh, like how I want my website to look and like how the you know just like this is a sidebar over here um, my website's gonna have a sidebar so having text on it is not bad but I wanna have text on the top rather than right below all the links and stuff so I'm gonna grab this 
I'm going to drag it up. Then I'm going to click the edit button right here. Um, I can change the... Oops. Actually, I want to drag the text up and then hit edit on text. Alright, so I can call this welcome. Welcome, and then I can click in here and say like, hello. Welcome students. Welcome students. This is your website. And then I click OK. If I didn't want to have text on my sidebar, and I just wanted to have text in the content, which is, you know, that's common, I could delete this, so I could just hit the delete button right there. Next is navigation. Um, so under navigation, I'm going to want to link to all the different pages that I have. Uh, so I can click on edit right here. Um, title, navigation, uh, that's fine. You can also do like a site map or something like that. Navigation's fine. Um, or like classes. I don't know. I'm just going to keep mine at navigation. Um, if you wanted to display that title, um, you could. On my website, I do display the title. I have the just title up there. So I'm going to check on that um, automatically. And then this is going to be linked to the sitemap. That's exactly what I want. I want this to be linked to the sitemap, um, which is just going to be the sitemap is just a map or a list of all the different pages that you have. So don't want a recent site activity. That would be like if I changed my website in some way, I could have a link to that. Uh, but I don't want my, uh, my viewers to be able to see that. So I'm going to keep that unchecked. And I'm going to click OK. Now if I wanted to add something else here, there's many different things that I can add here. I can add AdSense, which is a way to monetize your website or make money off of it. I could add some more text. Um, I could add a countdown um, to this. I would just click like Add and then I can edit the countdown. Like, last day of school. Day of school. And then I could choose a date here and Let's see, that's probably in June. I think it's June 6th for us. And I hit OK, and there we go. Now I have a countdown. Um, up here, uh, this is going to be the header, so I can change the logo. Um, but I'm going to keep the logo the same. And the alignment, I'm just going to keep all that the same, because I kind of like that. But if I wanted to change it, I could change it right here. And then the content... Uh, the content I definitely want to just remain the same. I'll edit that on the edit pages. And then I want to make sure that I hit the save changes right down here. Alright, and that's going to be good for my site layout. Alright, so now that I've finished editing my site layout, and this is exactly how I want it, I'm going to go ahead and return to the site, and we're going to start editing the individual pages. So right now I want to figure out exactly how many pages I want um, and what I want to see available. Um, so I have these pages over here. These were all pre-created. If I wanted to create an, um, an additional page, I can create one right here. Uh, but going through here, I don't really want a lot of these pages to be on my navigation, like family blog, family calendar, stuff like that. So I'm going to delete these. So I'm going to go to family blog. Then I'm going to go to more actions right here, and I'm going to delete the page. Yes, so I want to delete family blog, and it's going to delete a sub page, but that's okay. So I'll hit delete. That's gone. Family calendar. I also want to delete that. I'm going to click on more actions, delete. Family map. More actions, delete. Family Profiles, I'm going to delete this page, and this is going to delete some sub-pages too, but that's okay. Family Recipes, more action, delete that page. Family Albums, more actions, delete. And the sitemap, this shows all the different views and stuff. I don't really want my... um. Although this is a nice page, I don't really want my uh, visitors to the site to be able to see this, so I'm actually going to uh, take this off of the navigation screen. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back, edit the sidebar, 
edit the navigation, and I don't really want the site map on here after all, so I'm going to click OK and return to the site. Oh, stay on this page, make sure that you hit save changes and then return to site. Alright, so now I just have my navigation, my home page, and then that's it. So I'm gonna create a few pages. To create a page I'm gonna just hit that button right there. I do want this to be a web page and I'll just title this class one. So uh, you know you could title I would title this like Linux Plus or web development or graphic art something like that. Um, if you wanted this to be a sub page you would put it under home um, but for now um, and just as a beginner just keep everything at the top level. Then hit create page. Alright, um, I'll just go ahead and save this. I'm gonna create all my pages first then I'll do create like class two keeping this at the top level now again if I wanted this like to just have a bunch of files on this page rather than using this as a just a blank web page I might choose file cabinet if I wanted to have a list of items I might choose list um, if I wanted this to be like a blog or something I might do announcements but um, I'm just gonna keep it with the standard web page um, it's usually pretty good so I'll create I'm going to save it, and then create one more page, create class 3, create page. So now I have home, class 1, class 2, class 3. Um, then I'm going to create, I'll save this, create a new page, classroom rules, create page. And the last thing, I'm going to save that. And the last page that I want is uh, contact. So I'm going to hit create page and contact. And hit the save button right there. Okay, so now that I have all of my pages created over here and my navigation bar is looking correct, um, I'm going to actually start editing the pages. Now the first thing that I want to do is this home. I like to call this something else. Maybe I want to call this welcome. So I'm going to click on edit page right here and right up here at the top we'll see that this home appears and this is whatever the title of the page is. So if I wanted to change this to like welcome go ahead and do that and I'll hit save. And you'll notice now that the navigation um, has changed to welcome. If I want to be able to see that welcome up in here, um, I'm going to click on more actions and I'm going to go down to page settings. Page settings allows you to show the page title. So if I wanted to show welcome, which I do, I can check that box. If I want to allow comments on this particular page, I can check that. I don't really want comments. If I wanted to attach things to this web page, I can uh, check that. Um, show links to sub pages. We don't have any sub pages on this site, so I don't need to do that. And if I wanted to change the URL, so rather than have it be home, I'm going to change it to welcome. Let's save. And now you, the URL to my website has been changed to welcome, uh, which is excellent. Well, that ends part two of this video. I apologize for the abruptness. Please watch video three to complete the project. I'll begin right where I left off.